My name is Delanier Shook, and I am the Information Collector, coming to you today from Clyde, North Carolina, in front of the Big Gun. This is a memorial to Clyde's war dead, who sacrificed their lives for our freedom. This week's open source intelligence briefing is very interesting. Leading off, NPR declared coins are the new toilet paper. One job that you can't do at home is printing currency. And unfortunately, the Federal Reserve had to furlough employees due to COVID-19, which was also the reason that fewer people got out and spent their coins, resulting in a temporary coin shortage. Also this week, the State Department issued a press release with new sanctions on Iran. This included sanctions on five captains whose ships took gasoline and oil to Venezuela. It also included sanctions on metallurgical companies that exported to Iran and revealed that Iran had imported 300 tons of graphite. Graphite has industrial uses, such as, according to the Mineral Education Coalition, lubricants, refactories, and steel crucibles. But it's also used widely as a moderator in nuclear reactors. In fact, according to a 2017 Stanford University report, a fifth of the, un of the world's nuclear reactors use graphite as a moderator. An NBC report some time ago spoke about Iranian graphite smuggling. It stated, a thousand tons are needed to moderate one reactor. That 2.2 pounds of graphite are required to shape a crucible to hold molten uranium metal and it is even usable in the nose cone of a conventional missile with several dozen pounds being needed to withstand re-entry heat. In a related article, Fox News reported an explosion in an underground tunnel system about 12 miles east of Tehran. This tunnel system includes the Kojir missile facility and also houses the Shahid Bakiri Industries Solid Propellant Factory. The article cited Fabian Hintz, a non-proliferation expert who was the source of an article I mentioned last week. Moving on, in a webinar, Admiral James Fago expressed Pentagon concerns over Russian and Chinese expansion best noticed in Russian expansion into the Crimea and Chinese expansion into the South China Sea and the East China Sea. The PRC has been buying up news and entertainment outlets for the purposes of muzzling criticism, promoting propaganda, meddling in elections, and influencing perceptions about COVID-19. Last year, Russia had 10 submarines in the North Atlantic, and sources say five more are to be deployed there. This week, the Israeli Foreign Office announced cooperation between Israel and the United Arab Emirates in research and technology development toward countering COVID-19 in the region. Finally, an American Trucking Association industry survey showed breakdown costs across the industry are up 30% to $491 per breakdown. However, by following best industry practices, companies can get three times more mileage between breakdowns. 
that is this week's open source intelligence briefing. God willing, I'll be back next week with more information.